Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on finding the distance between two points. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. Good luck with this puzzle. See how you go. The distance between two points. Consider the interval in the first quadrant of this number plane. This interval here, represented by the blue line. The points at each end of the interval are 2, 1 and 5, 5. We can use these two points to calculate the distance between them. The next slide will present more information about this process. Finding the distance between two points. The interval on the previous slide has been reproduced here, showing the two endpoints, here and here. I will now try to present a simple explanation on how to find the distance between these two endpoints. Explanation. In order to find the distance between the above two points, we insert some construction lines in order to form a right angle triangle. We then calculate the base and the height from the given two points. After that, we use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. This answer is the distance between the two points. The next slide will show what has been done in more detail. The distance between two points continued. Looking carefully at this diagram, we can see that the height of the triangle is 4, that's here, and the base is 3, that's there. We can count the spaces to arrive at these two lengths. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, that gives you your 4, or we can go 1, 2, 3, and that gives you your 3. Or the height is the difference of the y values and the base is the difference of the x values. So if you take the height here, which is 4, the difference of the y values is 5 minus 1. That gives you 4. And the difference of the x values is 5 minus 2. That gives you 3. The formula. On the previous slide, we saw that the height was y2 minus y1. And the base was x2 minus x1. Now, I've written those here. So there's y2 minus y1. That's the difference of the y values, which gives you the height. And there's x2 minus x1, which is the difference of the x values to give you the base. And d is the distance we have to find. We now use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the formula for finding the letter d. So Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares on the other two sides. If we find the square root of both sides, we get d equals the square root of y2 minus y1 all squared plus x2 minus x1 all squared. And this is the formula for the distance between two points. This is it. That's the one you have to remember. Now, Let's write the formula down again. d equals the square root of y2 minus y1 all squared plus x2 minus x1 all squared. We substitute the values in there. Now there's x2, y2, and there's x1, y1. So you just substitute those values in there. Then we do some simplification, because 5 minus 1 is 4, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, 16 plus 9 is 25, so d is the square root of 25, which is 5, so the length of the interval is 5 units. Quick quiz. Now have a go at these two questions here, 
and please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle, what is the meaning of the following? And the answer, wake up. It's pretty obvious, eh, when you look at it. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and please don't forget to look through the video at any time. If you enjoyed this lesson, please subscribe by clicking on this button here. And if you want to watch any of the previous videos, you can click there or there. And I hope to see you next lesson.